in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment then o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment then o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment then my dear brothers and sisters praise the lord 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 very good evening and welcome for today's prayer my dear brothers and sisters we are praying together for all our needs we are worshiping the lord we are praising the lord we are thanking the lord for all the blessings that we have received in our past life we also pray for all our needs very especially we pray for the whole world those people who are participating in this holy hour and holy eucharistic celebration we are called to intercede for the whole world my dear brothers and sisters let us worship the lord our lord is with us is emmanuel he is always with us to bless us to protect us to guide us let us be grateful to the lord for his wonderful presence in the holy eucharist lord we are here to praise to adore and to worship you things
let us worship the lord we thank we adore and we praise the lord hallelujah 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus worship you jesus Thank you Jesus praise you Lord You took my darkness and gave me your light Thank you Lord Jesus I thank you Father I thank you brothers and sisters we are praying together with mother mary mother mary will intercede for all our families and individuals we thank the gift of mother mary for the human race my dear brothers and sisters wherever we are and whenever we are praying together with mother mary there is mighty anointing the holy spirit will come upon all of them the disciples and mother mary they prayed together there was an outpouring of the holy spirit at this time wherever we are we are praying together along with mother mary i believe in god the, the father, father almighty Christ creator of heaven and earth, earth and in jesus christ his, his only son our lord, lord who was conceived, conceived by the holy spirit, spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended hell the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended into heaven he is seated at the right hand of god the almighty from then he shall come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting amen our father who art in heaven Hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen Mother Mary we pray for all the families Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with you Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen mother mary we pray for all the children hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy, holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen mother mary we pray for faith hope and charity hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony of our Lord in the garden of in the garden. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ was so afflicted for us in the garden of Gethsemane that his body was bathed in a sweat of blood. My dear brothers and sisters, in this decade in a special way we are praying for all those people who have asked our prayers 
different people from different parts of the world so many people have written to us for praying we have a lot of names with us it is thousands of name so we have right we have written all those names and we keep on the altar of the lord it is it is not possible for us to read all the names because the number of the names are thousands so we are praying for everyone who has asked our who have asked our prayers and we pray for the whole world very especially we are praying for those people who are attending this service regularly in a special way we pray for all those people who are sick and people who are in despair we pray jeremiah our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from the evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and or for that amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and or for that amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and or for that amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen. Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners Now and the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners Now and the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women And blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh my, my Jesus forgive us our sins save us from the fires of hell lead all souls to heaven especially those who are most in need of your mercy Ave 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 the second sorrowful mystery the scourging of jesus at the pillar let us contemplate in this mystery how our lord jesus christ being delivered up by pilot to the ferry of soldiers was tied to a pillar and most cruelly scourged in this second in a special way we pray for all those people who are crying before the lord people who have lost their job people who have difficulty with their health and people who have lost their hope in their life and we also pray for all the broken families and brothers and sisters who are in deep trouble wherever they are we are praying for them my dear brothers and sisters if any one of you are crying before the lord because of any of these reasons 
very specially we are praying for you please do lift your hands before the lord and ask for god's mercy and we also pray for, along with mother mary our, our father. father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, is now, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, third sorrowful mystery, Jesus is crowned with thorns. Let us contemplate in this mystery how the soldier is plated a crown of sharp thorns and most cruelly pressed it on the sacred head of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in this decade we pray for all the sick people, especially the sick people who are facing death, people who are suffering from severe diseases like AIDS, cancerous, kidney problems, heart ailments, and different other diseases. We pray for them. Let Mother Mary intercede for all these brothers and sisters. We also very specially pray for who have asked, especially the sick people who have asked our prayers. May the mighty Lord, through the powerful intercession of Mother Mary, may heal all of them. If any one of you are sick, please do pray before the Lord. And we also pray for many other people who are sick, people who met with accidents today, people who are facing death now. May Mother Mary intercede for all of them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
Now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was in the beginning, is now, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of your mercy. Amen. Ave Maria Ave 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 Maria The fourth sorrowful mystery Jesus carries the cross Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ being sentenced to die bore with the most amazing patience the cross which was laid upon him for his greater torment and ignominy. In this decade, in a special way, we pray for the Holy Catholic Church, the church all over the world. We pray for our Pope Francis, all the cardinals, bishops, priests, and lay leaders. And we pray for all the Catholic families all over the world. Through the powerful intercession of Mother Mary, let all all people be protected and we pray for all our needs in a special way we pray for all the broken families we pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but to deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among so women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 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 O oh my Jesus, Jesus call us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all those to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave. the fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us contemplate in this mystery how our Lord Jesus Christ was stripped of his clothes and how his hands and feet were most cruelly nailed to the cross, on which he died in the presence of his most afflicted mother. In this decade, in a special way, we pray for all the souls in purgatory. We remember all the departed members from our families and very especially we remember all our conferers who have gone for their eternal reward. We also pray for those souls who have no one to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not bring us the fall into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and the of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. end. Amen. O my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Amen.
especially now we are praying for father joseph adat who is going to lead the holy adoration the outpouring of the holy spirit may take place in this adoration we pray for everyone who are participating in this holy rosary adoration and holy mass the power of the lord may come upon all of us we pray for those people who have asked our prayers very especially those people who are praying with us now we are here to pray stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament the whole heaven is here right now all the angels are here all the saints are here right now all close their eyes and pre- feel the presence of God everybody speak to Jesus personally he is looking at you Abba Father we are here in front of you from around the world worshipping you singing together joyfully Lord I pray for all the people who are participating in this adoration right now There are so many people who are broken and shattered and family having family problems. Their children they are worried about. Their husband or wife they are tensed about. Many are with bad habits and addictions. The COVID-19 situation is frightening everyone. Many are losing their jobs. Many are afraid to face their realities of their life. Many families are worried about the future of their life. Many children are worried about their studies and education and everything. And many are falling into depression. Many families are having domestic violence are increasing in many families. Lots of problems are taking place in different parts of the world, Lord. Abba Father, you can turn everything into good. There is nothing impossible for you, Lord. In spite of all these evil things that are taking place there are also lots of good things are happening many families are coming together for the first time talking with each other for the first time spending lot of time for the other person for the first time there are lots of other good things are happening lord we thank you for that abba in a special way we pray for all those who are broken all those who are struggling all those who are in crisis We need your power Lord. We need your anointing. We need more power and more anointing, more love Lord. We cry out to you Abba. If anyone is worried and tense and lonely, we pray for them in a special way. Hamas and everybody right now. The Lord is blessing every child of God. Offer up, open up and offer your children, offer your, offer your children, your worries, your tension, your sickness, your weakness, your husband, your wife, your children, your wealth, your health, everything be offered on this altar in front of our Lord. The Lord is listening to your cries right now. Everybody sing together.
sing together.
Brothers and sisters, there is anointing here now. You can feel it in your body. You are not alone wherever you are. You are not alone. The presence of God is covering your whole body right now. You can feel Him. You can feel His touch in your body now. The Lord is giving you gift of tears with repentance. He is washing you with His precious blood now. He is cleansing you now. You can feel the anointing in your body. You feel like crying in front of Jesus. Let them cry louder, those who feel like crying in front of Jesus. He is consoling you. He is wiping away the tears from your eyes. He will never leave you orphaned. He is coming to you. Vincentina, the Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody who has got shoulder pain, especially right hand shoulder pain, the Lord is healing you right now. Lancy, the Lord is blessing you. Mira, the Lord is blessing you. Bella, the Lord is blessing you right now. James, the Lord is healing you completely. Lydia, the Lord is blessing you and your family. Do not worry. Frida, the Lord has seen you. All your hard work, every struggle you're going through, the Lord has seen it. Antoinette, the Lord has seen every struggle you have gone through, especially the prayers that you made. I have heard your cries and I'm coming to you to bless you. Kester, the Lord is blessing you right now. Ravi, Ravi, the Lord is blessing you. I have protected you from many dangers. I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord who walks around with you. Casper, the Lord is blessing you. Don't worry about your children. Surrender your children in my hand. Tony, the Lord is blessing you right now. Somebody who is pregnant, who is worried about your delivery, the Lord is consoling you, healing you right now. Every complication is remote. Somebody who has got severe pain in your neck, the Lord is healing you right now. The Lord is delivering many people from the spirit of anger, uncontrollable anger. The Lord is delivering you right now. Many family members, many families were affected with the anger problem. The Lord is healing you right now, delivering your family right now. Claim it for yourself. Thank you, Lord. Let's cry out to our Father in heaven. He looks after you. He is looking at you right now. He is blessing everybody right now. Abba Father. 
we cry out to you father everybody stretch out your hands towards the heaven the heaven is open above you now every family every family member is anointed everyone is going to receive the power from above you can experience the touch of the holy spirit from above he is sending his power he is sending his fire he is sending his anointing from heaven to cover you and overshadow you you experience it right now in your body don't worry about anyone who is standing next to you you just cry out and pray our father brothers and sisters believe we have a father in heaven we are not alone just imagine the whole world is a family all of us are family members though we look different in color size shape in beauty and also in wealth health but we are all children of the heavenly father when you receive baptism on the day you receive baptism the heaven was opened and the abba father sent the holy spirit upon you and jesus was standing next to you and the abba father ex- expressed his the declared publicly in front of everyone that you are my son my daughter with whom i'm well pleased on the day you received the baptism you have become officially a child of god we are all children of god and one family and we have our own father mother at home but our original real father is in heaven one day we will all go back to our home one day we will all will be together in one place meeting each other greeting each other and loving each other in the presence of this heavenly father he is waiting for his children to come back he wants his children to be happy he wants his children to be holy he is looking forward to meet us and let's cry out to this heavenly father who cares for us wherever we are this father is looking after us 
he loves us so much he never abandons us the word of god says even your mother may forget you father may forget you but i will not forget you your name is written on my palm i see you i see you every day even if you don't see me you don't see me i see you even if you don't trust me i trust you even if you don't believe in me i believe you the lord says let us cry out to this father who cares for us even when we commit sin and move away from him still he is waiting for us revelation 3:19 and 20 we read jesus said god says i am knocking at the door listen i'm knocking at the door if you listen my voice and open the door for me if you listen my voice and open the door for me i will open the door and yeah i will come inside and dine with you listen i'm standing at the door knocking if you hear my voice and open the door i will come into you and eat with you and you with me jesus is waiting for us let's cry out to the heavenly father once again stretching out hands towards the blessed sacrament look at him and praise god and sing together the top of your voice and say our father
abba father we thank you abba father we feel that you are embracing us right now abba father we are sorry for all the sins we have committed abba father we have hurt you many times through our actions behavior attitude abba father we were unfaithful to you many times abba father we were disobedient we never cared for you we never gave you importance in my life in our life abba father we are sorry abba father many occasions we left your hand and ran away from you indulged in many worldly things and caught up with the world now we want to come back to you father accept us as we are with all our sins and forgive us lord cleanse us and make us holy we need you father the lord is blessing somebody who has got severe pain on your head back of your head the lord is healing you somebody who has got a small growth in your eyes the lord is healing you somebody who has got a growth in your neck the lord is healing you prishilla the lord is blessing you anugraha the lord is blessing you Agustino the Lord is blessing you Sydney the Lord is blessing you right now and Lopez the Lord is blessing you right now Esther the Lord is consoling you healing you right now Nancy the Lord is blessing you Nelson the Lord is healing and everyone in your family you are praying for your mother the Lord is blessing your mother Jocelyn the Lord has heard your cries he's touching you he's sitting next to you somebody who has got pain and pressure in your eyes pressure problem in your eyes the lord is healing you martin the lord is blessing you derek the lord is blessing you don't worry about anything surrender be calm the lord is telling you dina the lord is blessing you right now there is a nun who is confused with the vocation and is praying right now kneeling down and praying the lord is blessing you and strengthening your vocation right now somebody who is having pain in the left side of your stomach the lord is healing you somebody who has lost your house and your property the lord is blessing you in a special way and giving you back everything what you are lost somebody who is having a police case from your servant the lord is reconciling bringing reconciliation between you priyanka the lord is blessing you right now Shoba the Lord is blessing you Jenna the Lord is healing you right now healing you and your family Tabitha the Lord is blessing you Someone who has got ch- chest pain and chest congestion the Lord is healing you right now Miguel the Lord is blessing you right now Heaven is open now someone who can't having is having chest pain severe chest pain you can't even bend down the lord is healing you right now everybody cry out to god and say our god is greater our god is mighty and powerful let's cry out and sing together and worship god at the top of your voice along with all the angels and saints he is here right now glorify him with all your might and power
eyes and thank the Lord. The Lord is blessing everyone right now. Feel the presence of God. Our God is greater. He is here right now. He is consoling every child of God now. Abba Father's love is covering every child of God. Somebody you are appointed with a very good job, a new job, but not at got the appointment letter you are waiting for it for a long time you feel cheated the Lord is consoling you, releasing the appointment letter for you, the Lord is blessing you somebody who is having no taste in your mouth no taste for anything the Lord is giving you back the lost taste of your tongue the Lord is giving you back somebody who is not getting your salary for a long time you are so tensed and worried about it the Lord is releasing that salary for you right now somebody who is having pain between your eyes just above your nose the between your eyes they receive your pain the Lord is healing you right now there is a couple after one month of your marriage there is your marriage is separated the Lord is asking both of you to repent and ask forgiveness from God for all the sins and then forgive each other and repent the Lord is telling you both of you somebody who is praying for a boy who is having lack of intellectual growth lack of intellectual growth the Lord is blessing that child blessing that boy and healing that boy right now somebody who is worried and angry about your daughter who married a non-christian and parents are not talking to that daughter the lord is asking you to speak to the daughter and forgive her and accept her there is a family property a house and some a plot of a land 
is abandoned due to the dispute among the family members and siblings the lord says if anybody is god fearing among you give up your claim to bring peace between your siblings so that god will bless you mightily the lord says somebody who is waiting for a retaliation because of your and some trouble problem that you have gone through you are waiting for a revenge waiting for a retaliation the lord says revenge is mine vengeance vengeance is mine forgive them you forgive them the lord says let's all keep our hands on our heart and pray abba father i pray for everyone who are participating in this adoration i raise all their petitions in front of your father you are our father you always love us you know every pain that we are going through every crisis that we are into you know lord there are so many families who are worried about many things that they are crying out to you they are wondering whether their prayers are heard or not abba make them realize that you are their father you care for them make them feel father make them feel let them feel that you are their father you love them you care for them abba abba father console everybody every child of every child who is crying out to you wherever they are embrace them with your paternal love if there is any one who is sick and suffering for a long time let them be healed right now in jesus name abba i pray for all these people of god bless everybody right now do not leave anyone lord have mercy on them if anyone is addicted to bad habits wrong relationship any kind of bad habits and wrong relationship we cry out you on behalf of them let's all kneel down wherever you are just kneel down in front of the blessed sacrament and ask for mercy and cry out and say living water flow on and wash away every sin every evil every bondage every unforgiveness everything that is blocking the anointing let's all sing together everybody kindly kneel down in front of the blessed sacrament and stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament and cry out
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's all sing together, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. When you call the name of Jesus, mighty deliverance and healings are taking place now. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's cry out and sing together, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Hallelujah. Everybody together. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Savior. Everybody, let's stretch out your right hand towards the blessed sacrament and keep your left hand on your body part where you got sickness or pain or any suffering that you have. Just keep your left hand on your body part where you got suffering or sickness or illness. Uh, stretch out your right hand towards the blessed sacrament. We are praying for you right now. The Lord is showering his blessings from the blessed sacrament right now. Everybody, as we are praying, offer your pain, every sick sickness, everything that you're going through, just share it in front of the Lord. And as you are going sharing in front of the Lord, you just pray and sing together, Jesus, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is anointing in the name of Jesus. We are praying for you right now. We are blessing you on behalf of the Holy Catholic Church, along with Pope Francis, all the cardinals, all the bishops, all the priests around the world, along with Bishop George, Archbishop John Wilson and uh, all the priests in this diocese in the in the communion with Father George Panicola Superior and Father Anthony, Father Jose and all the other fathers who are here present on behalf of all of them along with them in community in communion with the Holy Catholic Church from around the world we pray for you and bless you right now we command every kind of sickness that is afflicting your body we command you in Jesus name all the spirit of sicknesses that are causing the problem sickness in the hearts of, and bodies of the people of God we command you in Jesus name to get out of these people now and go to the foot of Jesus and be bound there forever let's sing together Jesus Jesus thank you father bless every family bless every broken hearted bless everyone who is wounded bless everyone who is sick 
Bless everyone who is rejected. Bless everyone who is seriously sick. Bless everyone who is admitted to the hospital. Bless everyone who is in the ventilator. Bless every doctor, every nurse, and everyone who is taking care of the sick. Bless everyone bedridden. Bless everyone who is abandoned. Bless every hopeless. Bless everyone who is sick and crying alone. Bless everyone who has no one to pray for. Bless everyone who is in need of our prayer. Bless everyone who asked our prayers. Bless everybody and set everybody free now in Jesus' name. Abba Father, we pray and bless everyone in your name, Lord Father. Jesus. Everybody sing together. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's all sing together, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Father, thank you, Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord was blessing and healing many people right now as you are worshipping and singing together and praying for healing touch by stretching out your hand towards the blessed sacrament and praying. Some people who have got slip disc, the Lord is healing you right now. Hip socket pain, the Lord is healing you right now. And somebody who is waiting for an operation for connected to your pancreas, the Lord is blessing you right now. And someone is also waiting for cesarean and uh, you, lots of complications with the baby. The Lord is blessing the baby and protecting the baby from any kind of complication. The Lord is also blessing a person who has got severe swelling on your knees. The swelling has just disappeared right now in Jesus' name. And someone who is also suffering from bleeding problem and also from piles, the Lord is healing you completely right now. The Lord is healing so many people. Someone who has got white patches in your white patches in your body, the Lord is healing you right now. A family who is worried about a death that is also a tragic death that happened recently. And your whole family is so afraid and you are so confused and so angry with God and disturbed. The Lord is blessing you all family and consoling you, giving you peace of mind. Somebody who is having urinary infection, the Lord is healing you right now. Lots of blessings the Lord is showering upon you. My dear brothers and sisters, you prayed for the Divine Retreat Center yesterday by doing the homework that was given to you yesterday. And today's homework, please read one chapter of the Bible, that is Book of Daniel chapter 3. The whole chapter. Pray. It's a kind of prayer. It's a very powerful uh, chapter. Please do read the whole chapter, Book of Daniel chapter 3. Book of Daniel chapter 3 Please inform your friends and family members And all those who are participating In case if they don't get the homework So please do read Book of Daniel chapter 3 And this by praying This reading is not just reading But praying the chapter 3 of Book of Daniel You are praying for the Divinity Center For the intention of the Divinity Center for all the intention, all the ministries, all the live streamings in different languages that are taking place in Divinity Center, all the volunteers, team members, for everyone you are praying by praying this Daniel, book of Daniel chapter 3. Please do pray. Now we are going to read out some of the testimonies that we have received. Meanwhile, 
you can speak to Jesus. You can tell Jesus whatever you want to ask for. He is blessing you right now. He is anointing everyone. You pour out your pain, pour out everything of your mind. Open up in front of our Lord Jesus. He is listening. He is consoling you. He is healing you right now. There is a testimony from Paul Sujit Sanjeevi. My wife Diana was having pain in her right leg for many months and I was suffering with pain and wanted to use a brace to support her knee. During the healing adoration, it is said that the Lord is healing a lady with pain on her right leg. Diana claimed healing and praise God. She has no pain whatsoever after that. So she is able to move and walk without any pain. The Lord has blessed and healed her right now completely. The Lord says, uh, the testimony says, and there is another testimony, Alfredo Gracias. I'm getting healed of left hand wrist pain. I had attended this retreat since it started and I had slipped and got left hand wrist pain for three weeks and I had been praying for long. And it was announced that someone who is having a plaster on the left hand is getting healed and also said that the Lord is blessing Alfredo. I claimed it for me and instantly the pain disappeared and I'm healed completely. Another testimony. I am Agnes Pereira from Goa. I had frozen shoulder pain for over, over a month. I had attended this Divan Retreat Center UK for over three months and on one of the retreats, Adoration time, it was announced that someone who had frozen shoulder pain is getting healed. Immediately I claimed this healing in Jesus name and I instantly got healed. The shoulder pain I had for over a month just disappeared instantly without any medical medicines. The Lord has blessed me. There is a testimony from Lourdes from Mumbai. Father, I had a swelling and burning in my eyes for two hours. It was watering and not stopping and there was swelling on the lower portion of both eyes before the service started when the service started it was announced that someone has got pain around the eyes the lord is healing you right now instantly the watering stopped and the eyes got healed praise the lord, praise the lord. my frozen shoulder on the right side which was very very bad from march is better now but yet a lot of pain can't lift my arm after a point i keep claiming but Abba impressed it on my heart. He wants me to shoulder the cross on my shoulder. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I am Emmanuel from Pune, India. My mother had major gastric problem from last three months. While watching the Divine Retreat Center UK live streaming, my mother is completely healed from the gastric problem. And all praise the Lord. 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 I'm writing this testimony or another testimony and writing this testimony on behalf of my father Xavier Mascarenas who lives in Goa. He had wound on his leg for almost seven months. He has been to different doctors and even at one point he was advised to cut the leg off. But I put him for prayers and I was prayer for him, praying for him and watching live streaming daily. As it was said one day, someone wound is healed healing in in the month of july it was announced in the month of july so that my daddy leg wound is healed by the prayers and i claimed it and we are claiming it for it and thank you lord for the healing the lord has blessed us this is a testimony from philomena roshan and there is Another testimony from Joyston. I had frozen shoulder pain for over a month. I had attended this Divine Retreat Center UK for over three months. And on one of the retreats adoration, it was announced that someone who had frozen shoulder pain is getting healed. Immediately I claimed this healing in Jesus name and I got instant healing. The shoulder pain I had for over a month just disappeared instantly and the Lord has blessed me. Praise the Lord. There is a testimony from Con C. Fernandez. And I'm writing this testimony from my sister KC Fernandez. She was always bitterly crying and praying to God for her son's healing, both hemophilic by birth. Now they are grown big by lots of care. Elder one is 21 years and second one is 13 years. She faced a lot and lot of pain looking at the pain of her sons. Always kept lifting up her children to Jesus, thinking someday or the other, the Lord will wipe away her tears. And during one of the adoration, 
and she was crying and praying for her son of 13 years old who was suffering and crying a lot due to deep pain in the joints due to internal bleeding and swelling suddenly on 5th of august father announced saying someone is healed of bleeding and of severe shoulder pain immediately my sister claimed it for the son for her son as she was uh, going through the same condition the same night the son got severe fever and got stomach upset and a lot of restlessness my sister said she was bold because of the healing message as lord has already touched and healed her son the next morning the pain swelling everything disappeared and in the shoulder and all the joints gradually disappeared and the son was feeling much much better and now he is totally fine now my sister is so happy that jesus is with her and ask always to protect her children and family thank you jesus and praise you jesus praise the lord praise there the lord. are so many other testimonies people have sent to us and uh, we will read it in the coming days now let's all kindly kneel down in front of the blessed sacrament and receive the blessing of the blessed sacrament and after the blessing father anthony is going to come and celebrate the holy eucharist let us offer all our intentions on this altar as we receive this blessing from the blessed sacrament let us stretch out a hand towards the blessed sacrament and pray we pray in silence and uh, you stretch out your hand towards the blessed sacrament and receive the blessing if you want to speak anything to the lord now is the time you can just open your heart open your mouth and speak to jesus as you receive this blessing from the lord
God is good all, all the, the time. time. All the time. God, God is, is good. good. Today we have the memorial of Saint Pius the Tenth, the Pope. Pope Pius the Tenth was born in Rees. This is near Venice in Italy. The son of the village postman. He was ordained in 1858 and one of the few popes who spent a substantial period in parochial ministry. After serving as Bishop of Mantua and Patriarch of Venice, he succeeded Pope Leo XIII in 1903. He defended Catholic doctrine against modernism described as the synthesis of all heresies and also promoted the dignified celebration of the liturgy aiming to restore all things in Christ. He extended the practice of frequent communion. It is Pope Pius X who started the practice of frequent communion. Let's seek his powerful intercession as we celebrate this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's kneel down and open our hands. St. Augustine says, we are all beggars before our Lord. We are begging for mercy. And our Lord is here to pour out his mercy upon us. Let's be sorry for every sin we committed as the Lord is waiting for an opportunity to shower his mercy upon us. Let us plead. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope Saint Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Kindly be seated. The first reading. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord was laid on me, and he carried me away by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley a valley full of bones. He made me walk up and down among them. There were vast quantities of these bones on the ground, the whole length of the valley, and they were quite dried up. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, You know, Lord. He said, 
prophesy over these bones. Say, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. The Lord says this to these bones. I am now going to make the breath enter you and you will live. I shall put sinews on you. I shall make flesh grow on you. I shall cover you with skin and give you breath and you will live and you will learn that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I had been ordered. While I was prophesying, there was a noise, a sound of clattering and the bones joined together. I looked and saw that they were covered with sinews. Flesh was growing on them and skin was covering them, but there was no breath in them. He said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, say to the breath, the Lord says this, come from the four winds, breathe, breathe on this dead, let them live. I prophesied as he had ordered me, and the breath entered them. They came to life again and stood up on their feet, a great and immense army. Then he said, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They keep saying, our bones are dried up, our hope has gone, we are as good as dead. So prophesy, say to them, the Lord says this, I am now going to open your graves. I mean to raise you from your graves, my people, and lead you back to the soil of Israel. And you will know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves, and raise you from your graves, my people. And I shall put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I shall resettle you on your own soil. And you will know that I, the Lord, have said and done this. It is the Lord who speaks. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah to the Lord. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 22, verses from 34. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they got together and to disconcert him. One of them put a question, Master, which is the greatest commandment of the law? Jesus said, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second resembles it. You must love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang the whole law and the prophets also. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kindly be seated. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Sisters and brothers, today the, the Lord is teaching us about the commandment. And we know this commandment that you have to love your God with all your mind, with all your heart, your mind, your soul and your strength. is a commandment already given in the Old Testament. This is also to love your neighbor. It is Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 that the Lord himself revealed through Moses. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. That means to love your God with all your heart and to love your neighbor as you love yourself as it was a commandment already given in the Old Testament. Then when somebody asked, Jesus is telling to keep this commandment. But now there is a difference in the New Testament. You have to practice this commandment the same way Jesus practiced it. As I have practiced it. I have loved my father the way I loved Abba Father. The way I loved each and every one of you. This is what you have to follow. Until then... People were supposed to imitate the written law. Now they are asked to imitate a person who practiced this law in his life. We read in John chapter 13 verse 34. John 13 34 we read, I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. Please repeat with me together three times. I give you a new, new commandment, commandment that, that you love you one another just as I have God loved you. You also should love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. So how we have to love your God and love your neighbor just as Jesus loved. Jesus loved. How did Jesus love? We read this is in Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Romans 5 8. The love of God is an impartial love. God proves his love together. <coughs> God but proves his love, love for us, us in that while we still were sinners, sinners, Christ died for us. So what is the speciality of the love of Jesus Christ? His love is impartial. Even when we are sinners, even when we did not love him, he loved us. That means, how do you love your people? If you are an Indian, do you love only Indians? This is not Christ's love. Maybe you are from Kenya and you love only Kenyans. This is not Christian love. Maybe you are from South Africa and you prefer to relate with South Africans. This is not Christian love because he said, this is scripture again. This is Galatians chapter 3 verse 28. Galatians 3 28 we read. Repeat with me. There is no longer Jew or Greek. There is no longer slave or free. There is no longer male or female. 
for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. That means if you discriminate anyone on account of their religion, their nationality, their creed, their their uh, positions their power this is not the love jesus set for us jesus set an example the way i have loved you again this is ephesians chapter 5 verse 2 what is the speciality of the love of christ together live in love as christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to god that means his love is a sacrificial love, a love that has no partiality, a love that includes everyone. Again, Colossians chapter 3 verse 11, Colossians chapter 3 verse 11, in, in that, that renewal, there, there is, is no, no longer Greek, Greek and Jew, Jew circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. Once again together, in that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. Do you love the rich people? Do you love people related to your tribe? Do you love people related to your nationality? Do you love people have the same color of your skin? This is not Christian love. That is why Jesus said, Luke 6 from 32. If you love only those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. So today, the Lord is teaching us Apart from more than what's written in the Old Testament there, it was just a written law. Now we have to follow Jesus who is the incarnation of the law, incarnation of the word in person. How did Jesus love? This is exactly the same way we have to love. First, his love is impartial and his love is sacrificial. His love is it's a sacrificial love. Let's also read this is 1 John chapter 4 verse 10. 1 John chapter 4 verse 10. In this is love. Together with me. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be an atoning sacrifice for our sins. That means his love is a love that proved through his life by becoming a sacrifice so if your love is not a sacrificial love this is not the love that jesus practiced in his life that means as saint mother Teresa of calcutta said give until it pains love until it is sacrificial that it causes pain for you that it is costly the love that the lord experienced that he expressed is a costly love it's a love that is too costly and that is why his love, the way that he loved us, demands a lot even from our part. We read in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10. It was fitting that God for whom and through whom all things exist in bringing many children to glory should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Sisters and brothers, the love of Christ is a sacrificial love. So if you don't have that spirit of sacrifice, your love is not at as what God expects. And the Lord categorically said, this is 1 Corinthians 14, 1. Love should be our aim. Pursue love and strive for the spiritual gifts and especially that you may prophesy Pursue love. We have to aim love. Again, Romans chapter 13 from 8 onwards, 8 to 10. You can repeat with me together. Of oh, no, no one anything except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not covet and any other commandment are summed up in this word love your neighbor as yourself love does no wrong to a neighbor therefore love is a fulfilling of the law love 
everything written in the old testament is concluded in one single word this word is jesus and this word is love jesus means love love means jesus this is the fulfillment of all the law that means we need to imitate jesus and his character that is sacrificial then it is uh, impartial then it was it is practical one john 3:18 that the love that jesus has already expressed that he promoted that he was showing it was a love through an example together let us repeat little children mm-hmm. let, let us love, love. Not, not in, in word, word or speech but, but in truth, truth and, and action action. so the love that the lord wants us to to express and experience is a love in action it's a love in action not in just word but in deed this is what he wants us to do in our life and we should know the characteristics of the love of jesus what is the character of jesus we read in galatians chapter 5 from 16 516 live by the spirit i say and do not gratify the desires of the flesh the true love that the lord has expressed in his life is a life in spirit and all the fruits of the holy spirit are the character of jesus christ for example galatians 5 from 22 we read what is the character of jesus christ love joy peace patience kindness generosity faithfulness and self control sisters and brothers these are all the expression of the love that jesus expressed the love the character of the love that jesus expressed the life of jesus was full of love so you are not imitating jesus and his love if you don't develop if you don't practice love joy peace patience kindness generosity gentleness faithfulness self control in your life it's a it's a life for others i have heard this incident from father george for the george panekel this is an incident about a particular person who came to attend the retreat in our divine retreat center after the retreat he came and he told father george that i cannot go back home you have to kindly permit me to stay back at this retreat center at least i have to stay in this retreat center for one more week for another retreat so father gave him permission and after this retreat again he said give me permission to stay back for another retreat then he just wanted to stay there he told father can you please help me to stay in this retreat center then he asked this man tell me what is your real problem then he told father i have to pay a huge loan i have huge debts if i go back maybe the people may take me to the police and i will be in trouble actually how to hide in this place so one thing why father has asked because he came he wanted to attend the retreat but he is hiding in the room he is not even attending because of the debts financial debts that he has and he found the best place to hide himself is in the retreat center somebody told him if it is in the prayer place nobody can come and find that you are there then because he is keep on thinking how to pay back the debts how to pay back the debts this is the main thinking that he has with these thoughts in his head he cannot concentrate on anything he can't attend the retreat no word of god is getting inside him he is so much troubled so father just told him did you ever ask told shared your problem with anybody is anybody who knows to your wife to your children he said no no i have never told anyone anything if i tell my wife she may get unconscious then she may get heart attack because the loan the debt is so huge i don't want to share with this anyone so father told him did you share about your life now you are in this retreat center with your wife he said no i have not given her any i am just going for a business trip i have not revealed to her the truth then father asked him how long you are going to hide how long you are going to hide in this problem why can't you share with your wife with whom god has reunited you as a family 
then he just got he said that no but my wife is not able to take this then father said you have to first learn how to love your wife and your children you have to change your question in your life you keep on asking how can you pay back the debts but the lord wants you to ask how can you love your wife how can you love your children your basic problem is that you don't have love for your family you don't love you only love money that's why the money is just disturbing your life you have to first grow in love you have to ask the lord lord how can i grow in love you have to go and sit before the blessed sacrament and pray and ask and you should know there is no problem that god cannot solve we read in jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 please repeat this word of god with me see i am the lord the god of all flesh Is, is anything too hard for me once again see i am the lord the god of all flesh is anything too hard for me so father just told him the first thing you are to attend the retreat and just call your wife to this retreat center then you have to share everything to your wife let she also attend a retreat and after the retreat you have to share the truth then you come and talk to me you have to pray for your wife sisters and brothers later this man just called the wife she came she also attended the retreat after the retreat he just openly shared everything with the wife saying that i came to this retreat center because i had no other place to hide myself because i had huge debts i did not share anything with you i have to pay thousands of lakhs of rupees i have to pay back i don't know how to do i lost all my money in the business the wife just heard it she just cried and the wife told the husband i will be with you i will support you we'll pray together we'll sort it out together sisters and brothers he was so consoled until then he was just carrying this heavy burden to himself because he did not know how to properly love his wife he also the father also told him to share this thing to your children you do it as a family we read in matthew chapter 18 from 19 onwards we read we should know as husband and wife when you have a problem when you share your problem when you love god has to answer together repeat with me again truly i tell you if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask it will be done for you by my father in heaven together once again again truly i tell you if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask it will be done for you by my father in heaven if you husband and wife you have a problem maybe financial crisis maybe a childless maybe you don't have a house of your own you want to buy a new flat whatever may be you as a family husband and wife you share with one another you love one another you have to carry this burden together and pray with one heart one mind the lord jesus said it will be done for you by my father in heaven because verse 20 we read because the lord clearly said for where two or three are gathered in my name i am there among them since i heard this incident sisters and brothers when people say their problem that they have financial issue they have joblessness they have issue in the family difficulties now the answer is so simple is there is no love where there is love things will change that means you have to always look and you have to ask a question how much i love my family is am i growing to love can i do something so that i may grow in love when there is love all the problems will be solved the problems that i shared is a problem that is solved now this man was so much troubled he was carrying a heavy burden of a heavy loan but when he shared this problem with his wife now he is praying as one family as a single unit not just himself it was actually just his single problem before he was sharing that is why we read in art 1631 if you one single person believe not just you your entire family will be saved together let's repeat they answered believe, believe on, on the lord jesus, jesus and jesus you will be saved, saved. you and, and your household. household today as you listen to me you do you really love your wife do you really love your husband then at least you will share whatever you have in your mind 
there are people they don't share anything about your even you have lost your job even where you work even how much money you get what is your monthly salary how much money you have in the bank how much you have in the account if you don't share these pro, these things to your life partner whom god gave you to be a helper until your death then there is no love you have to grow in love the lord is telling us i have loved you and i have not been hidden anything that the lord has clearly and openly told everything to the disciples he wants us he wants a life partner a husband to share his life his secrets to the wife not the sins but the secrets the wife has to share whatever secrets whatever account whatever she has to the husband where there is no sharing where there is hiding there is no love there is no growth in love even many wives they have secrets with their children they don't share it with their husband god does not appreciate it there are maybe dads they don't share everything with their wife or to the children the lord wants you to be a sharing caring loving community this is the way the lord is setting an example and if any question that people ask i also heard this incident about a childless couple they were so sad and gloomy because they were childless so they just wanted to know why god is not giving them a child and then we asked them a question why do you need a child then they said because everybody has a child then we told them then that is not an answer why do you need a child and you should know it is to love so a child is the fruit of love when a husband and wife love and the fruit a love is always fruitful and the fruit of love is called a life and this life is called a child and you should know the lord jesus has taught us to love not just your children not just the fruit of your own love but anyone and everyone this is what he wants you so what do you have to do before you have your own child why can't you start loving your neighbor love the children love the orphans love the children of other people why can't you share and we we told them start helping the orphans start visiting orphanages start visiting children children who are abandoned help them be with them when they started to share their love with strangers with neighbors within one month she got pregnant because when she started sharing love lord gave them a new child sisters and brothers the lord wants that's why he said let love be your aim you should not just wait to have your own you have to the lord jesus loved us loved everyone and this is the commandment that he gave that we are to love one another let's read this is gospel of john chapter 13 verse 34 john 13 34 john 13 34 this is a commandment i give you a new commandment that you love one another just as i have loved you you also should love one another this is a commandment that we have to love one another so we cannot just cheat god we cannot just pretend that we love and our aim whatever may be the question now you have to just change the question that you may say that you have you need money you need some healing you need some material things then the lord will just ask you do you love your neighbor do you love your neighbor how much you love other people maybe you may find it's a strange thing i do remember a kidney patient he was seriously sick he came and he was he wanted to get healing he just wanted to get healing he feels that he is going to die so we just asked him that why do you need healing is it to is it to just prolong your life and why do you live is it just to have good health is it to live for yourself we read in romans chapter 14 7 to 9 there are people who are sick and they are not getting healing why because the end is to get healing what should be your end what should be your purpose to love let's repeat this word of god together we do not live to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves if we live we live to the lord and if we die we die to the lord so then whether we live or whether we die we are the lord so what's more important is that 
we have to belong to God because we read verse 9 for to this His end Christ, Christ died, died and lived again so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living to this end Christ died that we should belong to Christ we should love one another we should live for Christ and we should live for others anyone who lives for himself he is not a Christian anyone who just looks at his own welfare he is not a Christian because Christ did not live for himself he lived for others Matthew 20 28 he said the son of man has come not to be served just as the son of man came not to be served but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many today he wants you to redirect your life he, why do you live is it for yourself it's a pity for us do you live for others that is the expression of love sisters and brothers if you don't live for others and he wants you to do it immediately maybe you are childless are you waiting to have your own baby to love he wants you to love right now others the way you are you have to share you have to love and you have to know everyone who are born into this world they are worthy to be loved because they are all created in the same image and in the likeness of the Lord. And he wants you to have a love that is impartial. If you love only those who love you, if you greet only those who greet you, if you help only those who help you, that is not a Christian love because Jesus loved everyone. We read in 2 Timothy 2.13, even when we are faithless, he is faithful. The love of Christ is so impartial. Together, let's repeat with me. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Sisters and brothers, even in, when we are faithless, he is faithful. Even when we don't love him, he loves us. This is what changes the love the life of people transform the people i have heard this testimony from a, a a pastor she was previously she was a hindu she is a hindu convert she's originally from india i have heard this testimony and she was from india she was a hindu a staunch hindu then she reached united states of america with her family and she was a teacher, a well-acclaimed teacher in India. But when she reached the United States, she could not pass certain required examination to qualify as a teacher in the same level she was teaching in India. So she was so disturbed because she could not do the work, uh, the noble work that she loved because she could not pass the required examination. But she was a staunch Hindu and eventually because of all this trust, she, she was forced to do some small little work which was not according to her qualification and her family dignity. But she was forced to do that. With all this trust, actually she became sick and eventually she got an accident. She was going through a very difficult time. Then from nowhere, a pastor, a pastor came to her and explained and met her and told her about Jesus. She became so angry and upset telling that, I am not a Christian, why do you come and talk to me about Christ? Then he just said, but because uh, I love Jesus, I know Jesus is the God of all, and I just got an inspiration to come and talk to you about Christ. Then she became very angry and she said, I'm a Hindu, I cannot just uh, tolerate the nonsense that you're talking. But this pastor just apologized and said, but I just got an inspiration to share with you about Jesus who loves you the way you are. Then she became very angry and she cursed this pastor, said, never come back to me. And later on, she, became, she got terrible sickness because of the consequence of the accident. She was in the hospital. No one was around. Then again, this pastor came to visit in the hospital with some fruits and with so many things. And this pastor whom he, she cursed and told her, him never to come back. He again went there, visited her, just told her, can I just pray for you? I know you are sick. Then she was so upset and she said, I have told you never to come. She again, he again apologized and said, no, I have just come because I got an inspiration just to tell you that Jesus loves you. He cares for you. 
he is your god then she just to call those things but he she just chased him but he went and he again called her in the hospital saying i'm very sorry but i pray for you i know jesus will heal you she was so upset because the more she abused him the more he loved him the more she is talking against him the more he is sympathetic to her and eventually when she was all alone in the hospital being so sick having terrible sickness again this pastor came and asked her can i just pray for you then she said do whatever you want because she was so upset this pastor just prayed and she felt some kind of peace she felt that her pain is going away she was so consoled then the pastor said if you don't mind come to my church and pray sisters and brothers then eventually because she came because he insisted she attended the church service and eventually she was healed and she got converted and she gave her life to jesus when this lady was giving the testimony what she was repeatedly saying is that what was surprising to her is that when he she abused him she was he was not going back she said that what surprised me is that the more i hurt him the more he loved me the more i was talking against him the more he was compassionate to me then i came to know there is something that is different there is something that is working inside him that is not human that's divine i know people if i just curse them or speak some abusive words they will not come back to me but this man the more i have talked against him even told him that you are a nonsense you are disturbing him are you not a stupid to come and bother me i told you that i am don't believe in christ she said the more i was speaking against him the more he came back to me then i came to know that he is operated through a divine power this is what changed me this is what changed me sisters and brothers jesus clearly said how did the people will know that you are my disciples is only when they see that how you love one another is only the way that you love one another let's also read this is john chapter 13 verse 35 jesus uh, the lord said 1335 everyone has to repeat three times together by I this everyone, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another sisters and brothers you don't want to preach the word but when you love one another maybe you are a nurse working in the hospital but the way that you love the way that you are humble the way you are gentle that's the way you are known as a disciple of Christ this is the way that this person this lady was converted because she came to know a human person cannot tolerate abuses a human person just cannot stand humiliation but this man is the more she is humiliating the more he is compassionate then she came to know there is something that is inside him that i don't have so there is something there is a true god that is inspiring him to love me even when he is not getting anything from me she said why i fell in love with jesus because this man came to know i'm sick i don't have money he will not get anything from me and still he is coming back to me not just once several times he is buying fruits for me where i don't have nothing to give him i only abuse him i only chase him away and still he is coming back to me by this everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another sisters and brothers you may be you may have visited hospitals but you may buy some fruits for your people your friends but you are a christian when even for strangers you buy food you if you are a true christian you will supply food for others you will give dress for others you will express your love you will show the love i was in rome in italy one day i was just 
walking in the railway station. You know, there, there was a huge pathway there. And in this pathway, I saw a lady with food packet, many food packets. And she's just putting food packets in front of those people who are staying in the footpath for begging for food. Just giving, she's not looking anywhere, just giving food packets. I'm a priest, I was so touched by this. She was inspired by God. And she is just giving food packets from the workplace when she comes, she buys food and give. She is a true Christian. How long now we have expressed this love for others? This is the way they will come to know Christ is God. How many non-Christians are converted through our actions, through our life, through the love, the, through the example of love. Once again, let's repeat, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another, sisters and brothers, maybe your neighbor. Your neighbor is not, a, not believing in God. But how can you tell them? It's not by just telling them through your lips, but by action. A married wife, she one day shared this incident, she said, she, her husband is not a Christian. She got converted, she became a Catholic. But she's not able to convert her husband. So she started to ask the Lord, Lord, I can influence people, but my husband whom I live with, I cannot influence him. Whatever I say, he's not just taking the faith that I have. He knew that I am blessed the way I have believed in Christ, but my husband is not able to believe in Christ. And the more I speak to him, the more he distances himself. Then I ask the Lord, Lord, is there any way I can influence my husband? She prayed, she opened the Bible and the Lord gave this wife this word from 1 Peter 3 from 1. 1 Peter 3 from 1, 1 and 2. Wives, in the same way, accept the authority of your husbands. So that even if some of them do not obey the word, they may be won over without a word by their wife's conduct. The Lord is telling her, you, you say that your husband is not obeying the word of God, not obeying you, not believing in God, and you have speaking to him, you are giving him advice. The Lord is telling, you can win over your husband not through words, but through your conduct. By the way you live, your, the character was to be read. How, what is his conduct? When they see the purity and reverence of your lives, sisters and brothers. If you are a wife and you want to influence your husband, cook good food. If you are a wife and you want to take your husband to the church for a retreat, for his conversion, respect him. Speak good about him. Speak to your children good about your husband. Tell your children to respect their father. God appreciates it so much. This is true love. You say that you love your wife, but you always persecute her. Your children cannot feel that you love your wife, that their mother. The greatest charity that a father, a dad can do to you, uh, do to your children. The greatest charity a dad can express to their children is to love their mother, to love your wife. This is the greatest expression of love. It is through deeds. That the, this lady said, when I was trying my level best to influence my husband, to advise him the way that is possible, the, the Lord said, stop advice. Clean the house properly. Cook the food properly. Smile at your husband. Speak good about your husband to the children. When your husband feels that even the children respect him because of your word, this is true love. Sisters and brothers, St. Paul teaches, what is true love? This is 1 Corinthians 13 from 4. And if you don't have it, you don't have love. It's also applicable to me. We cannot be, the, the, the love that the Lord showed us is not just in word in his life. What is love? Look at the life of Jesus. What is love? Crucifixion is love. What is love? Sacrifice is love. What is love? Accepting sufferings and humiliation is love. Love is patient. Love is kind. If you are an impatient person, that means 
you don't have grown to the love of Christ this is love we we can just put who is Christ if Christ is love if Jesus is love Christ is patient and he wants you to be patient like Jesus love is kind Jesus is kind and he wants you to be kind if you are not a kind hearted person you we have not yet become a christian love is not envious do we have this habit of feeling jealousy and envy it's a clear sign we have not grown into the love that jesus expressed love is not boastful are you or am i a boastful person this is not love love is always talking about the other love is boasting about others not about oneself talking good about others or arrogant are you an arrogant person that means we have not grown to love then we continue verse five love is not rude that means jesus is not rude that means the love that jesus expressed in his love life is not a rude love so if i am a rude person still i am far away from the love that jesus taught us in his life it does not insist on its own way am i a person insisting on my own way my own things i want to do the things that in my own way this is not true love true love it is not irritable do you love and for example we have this life program and in this life program maybe in your country it is late night and you put the full volume that your husband your children cannot sleep this is no true love keep it in a volume that is just audible for you so that those who want to sleep let them sleep maybe you may justify saying it it is god's program it is divine program i love god there is no problem but true love jesus himself will come catch your neck ear and will say reduce the volume let your husband sleep he came back from the work this is true love let no one misguide you that is the way you will win their life too then eventually your husband will also join why your husband is not a join this prayer service because you are arrogant irritable resentful he wants you to be truthful and genuine in your love which is kind which is gentle this is what jesus has expressed that he did not force anything to the disciples imagine the love of jesus he was so surprised his love his love is not a forceful love one day the speciality of the love of jesus that touched my heart one day jesus was praying in mount gethsemane in tears this is agony he just told the disciples please wake up with me please stay with me stay awake this is matthew chapter 26 from 41 we read that jesus is telling them please be awake with me and stay with me stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak jesus told them three times but what they were doing they were sleeping not just sleeping snoring and disturbing the prayer of jesus but did jesus get angry with them did jesus stopped praying and going to sleep the same way that the disciples no he continued praying without accusing them sisters and brothers this is what he wants you to imitate not just being forcing others but be an example even when jesus was when the apostles were eating the wheat that was forbidden they were stealing the wheat of somebody else they came and questioned the pharisees the sadducees but jesus defended the disciples saying even david did the same jesus did not accuse them jesus defended them because they were hungry sisters and brothers but jesus did not eat this so jesus the love that jesus expressed is a love that is protecting the disciples that is not forcing them even jesus washed the feet of his disciples but he did not tell the disciples come and wash my feet he did not say that he just told them wash one another's feet 
that's why the disciples died for jesus because the love that jesus inserted inside them is not a selfish love but a sacrificial love not a selfish love but a an impartial love it's a love that was been so practical in his life that means he himself was setting an example without forcing that's why they could sacrifice their life let us pray today lord give me the love that was in you Let's sing the hymn of offer tree now. and that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church receive with kindness our oblations and grant our lord we pray that following the teachings of pope pius saint pius the 10th we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father almighty and eternal God. Through Christ our Lord for us on the festival of Saint Pius the 10th you bid your church rejoice so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim <laughs> Lord the founder of all holiness 
make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and endeared willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope john wilson our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you th- throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen kindly we stand at the serious command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us do not let us fall into temptation but deliver us from the evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power and the, the glory, glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who sit your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace peace of christ
behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed may the body and the blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life amen My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you're already there, and, if, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. let us pray celebrating the memorial of pope saint pius we pray o lord our god that by the power of this heavenly table we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended let's go forth to love and serve the lord thanks be to god we pray together the prayer for priests o oh jesus, jesus eternal, eternal priest keep your priests within, within the shelter of your, your heart where none may harm, harm them keep and stain their anointed hands which daily hold your sacred body, body. keep we holy and unearthly hearts with your precious blood keep holy and unearthly their hearts lips keep holy moisten with your precious blood Keep holy and unearthly their hearts sealed with the sublime mark of your glorious priesthood. Let your love surround and shield them from the contagion of this world. Their labors for the glory of God may be blessed with abundant fruits. And may the one whom they serve be the source of joy to them here on earth and in heaven the eternal crown. Let them be eager to be with you to proclaim your good news and to fight against the evil one. Lord give your church holy priests religious and lay leaders Jesus redeemer of the world keep you your priests and those whom they serve holy mary queen of priests pray for your priests saint alphonsa pray for the religious saint augustine of england pray for england holy family keep our families pure and holy saint michael the archangel defend us in the day of the battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil may god give you the prayer and do the o prince of the heavenly host by, by the power of god cast into hell satan and, and all of the evil spirits who, who through the world seeking the ruin of souls amen saint michael the archangel defend us in the day of the battle be our safeguard against the snares and the snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do the o prince of the heavenly host by the power of god cast into hell satan and all the evil spirits 
who prowl through the world seeking the reign of souls amen saint michael the archangel defend us in the day of the battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly host by the divine power of god cast into hell satan and all of the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking them we plight to thy protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petitions in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin amen we plight to thy protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petitions in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin amen we fly to thy protection o holy mother of god do not despise our petitions in our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin amen thank you for the fasting that you are taking continue to pray for our deliverance retreat that is the next weekend please uh, pray for the kongani retreat that is going on we had our first kongani retreat today that was from 10 am to 1 pm tomorrow also at the same time then also on sunday we thank for the intercessions that you are making and we thank you for this uh, powerful prayer support that we get for this kongani retreat it was so amazing to see that so many have attended this retreat that is now more than 40000 people have already attended this kongani retreat that was been broadcasted today so you are joining a big group who pray and fast and intercede for this retreat and we claim all those who speak kongani for jesus christ as we have this retreat even tomorrow and day after tomorrow 10 am to 1 pm those who do not know please convey this message to others and continue to take fasting in preparation for the deliverance retreat that is the next weekend please kindly pray for us and do this online deliverance retreat on 28th 29th and 30th and please continue to do the fasting and pray for the divine ministries and again do the homework for tomorrow as father joseph mentioned this is prophet daniel chapter 3 just pray it slowly diligently from your heart in preparation for our daily service tomorrow and also for the kongani retreat tomorrow please continue to pray for all our team members for god's grace to flow you have to pray psalm 91 privately as a personal prayer tonight we declare your love has taken over me let's put ourselves into the love of god and we can ask the lord lord give me that same love that was there inside you and we are going to pray for deliverance and a new life to the lord your love has taken over me yes i have learned to depend on you i have god confidence in you let's claim it as we kneel down and we are going to receive the blessing of the eucharistic lord
chest pain god is blessing you matthias god is uh, uh, delivering you from the family issues let's feel his love let's worship him hallelujah 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 sala bahala badira bahala rabaria thinking of suicide because of the law mark god is telling you just depend on me i am the one who gives you success put your trust in the lord Let's look at the Lord. Keep your hands on your heart. Feel the presence of the Lord. The Lord is asking a daughter, "Why do you get angry with your dad and your mom? When you respect your parents, you will get success in your life." It's his commandment honor your parents. Somebody you not only rejected the gift that your mom offered but you just spoke harsh words against her if you had looked into the heart of your mom you you could have accepted the beautiful gift she has given you on your birthday just say sorry to your mom the lord wants you to be humble in your words ask the lord to cleanse your tongue somebody you have a skin problem when because of the heat especially during these days you burn your body 
God is healing you and protecting you, protecting your skin. Somebody you have some kind of rashes in your body even on face. A mother is so much upset because of some kind of rashes coming on the face of your daughter. God is answering your prayer and healing your daughter. God is asking many, why don't you speak good words to your children? Why do you always get angry and only correct them? Please also speak to them good words. They love you. Just say those appreciate appreciation even when they have passed in good colors. Just say that you love them and you highly appreciate them. Your children need your support. The Lord also wants you to pay back the money you have taken little by little. Don't say no to those who are, whom you have taken money. Give them back little. God is asking many to be grateful, to be grateful to those who accommodated you in your difficulties. Those who have helped you in their in your trouble financially and materially. Those who even gave their house and did not take any rent from you say thank you to them it's god loves those good gestures of love more than 19 people you are sick with body pain with a fever with throat pain and you suspect is covid the lord is healing you and protecting you saying i am with you it will not fall into covid god is telling many to stop the spirit of judging others Why do you judge? Just pray, my Jesus, let me never judge anyone. God wants you to make confession as soon as possible. Why do you hold your sins to yourself for long? God wants you to fulfill the promise you have made to the Lord. There are many who are suspecting you don't know whether to become a priest or a nun or to do something else. The Lord is asking you, If you want to become my priest my nun leave everything i will protect you the lord is healing a lady you lost your mom in covid and you could not even go for a funeral the lord knows your heart is bleeding he's consoling you the lord is telling i was there with your mom in her funeral don't be sad pray for all the departed souls God is restoring the job of more than 25 people one in Sharjah in Dubai in Abu Dhabi in the Middle East in Mumbai in Goa where you lost a job God is restoring the job that you have lost somebody have severe neck pain God is healing you God is healing someone you have oversleep you cannot get up early morning God is healing a person you have this particular syndrome God is delivering you A security guard God is blessing you. A lady you have breast cancer, the right breast was removed and had pain and now you are suspecting the same with your left. The Lord is healing you. Sudhiraba. God is blessing a teacher who is so dedicated but you have been falsely accused. The Lord is telling, I am the one who rewards you. God is asking many to destroy filthy materials, CDs, or filthy flash disk destroy it with the materials the impure things in the cd in the computer destroy it in the phone destroy nude pictures filthy things and god will bless you sindira bahala rabaria the lord wants many to stop partying many to stop partying why do you entertain people by taking loan it is of no use stop partying your family is suffering with loan then why do you party god wants many to stop visiting certain clubs and pubs that causes you to sin the lord wants you even to destroy the alcohol you kept in the fridge destroy it this is like keeping a poisonous snake it will destroy you sindira bahala rabaria God wants you to stop gossiping. You are wasting your time by gossiping and spreading evil. The Lord wants you to keep secrets. Why do you hurt your friend who helped you? Sindhi 
kira bahal lara bari. Don't believe in people. Believe in God. Dress modestly. How do you dress? Don't cause others to sin. Please accept that you have failed. Ask for the gift of silence. God is blessing and healing many from severe back pain. Somebody with the right side left, the head pain on the right side of your body. Somebody with the right hand pain, you cannot even raise your hand, you cannot even walk. Somebody with the severe arthritis, God is healing you. Somebody you have cough, you have some kind of sputum that you have severe headache, God is healing you. Somebody you have shoulder is coming out of the joint on the right hand, God is fixing it and healing you. God is healing you, Raphael. God is blessing you, Martin. God is blessing you, Cristiano. God is blessing you, Jospin. God is healing you, Anand. God is healing you, Jisha. God is healing you, Biju. God is healing you, Kunyamon. God is blessing you, baby. God's compassion and mercy is coming to you, Veronica. Let us feel His love. Your love has taken over me once again. Let us be immersed in the love of God. Kindly stand, clap your hands and declare, Lord, it's your love that is transforming my love, my life. Let's bow to the Lord. Somebody you cannot travel because of vomiting when you travel. God is healing a lady. He's healing you from this problem. You cannot even travel for three to four kilometers and you vomit. Somebody you had an accident and you broke the right leg, the hip joint. God is healing you. His healing power is coming to you. Somebody you cannot even fold your leg. You cannot even stay some time because you have some kind of weakness. God is healing you. Somebody you had injured your neck and you could not even keep your neck on one side. He is healing you. Somebody who are disturbed by demons in the night. The Lord is delivering you. It is the power of his love that is coming to you. As the team was singing for God's love, the Lord's presence was coming inside you. Let's bow to Him. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament Most Holy, Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. May Almighty God give you good sleep, bless the dinner, bless everyone in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night.